Hello friends, my name is Amulya. I'm from Veltic University and I'm going to demonstrate a final year project that is a cargo shipping management system. We have developed this project in uh, Future Studio 2010 and the server we have used is SQL Server 2005. So first of all, I'll show you the home page of our system. This is the home page where, is the, where the link is given to all the other pages. First of all, uh, let us go to the search page. It is uh, basically used to find the location in which in where, which places we are providing the services. About us gives the brief information about the company and when it started and everything. The banned products is the list of the products which are uh, not allowed to be shipped. So these are the list of the products. In contact us, we give our phone numbers and a toll free number and our email is also given in case you want to uh, in case you want to ask some grievances or any problems. Okay. Now the price finder is basically used to uh, find the price of the shipment which are which you are going to send through a company. Now first of all, we are going to register a new user. So let's type a name. Yeah, the username is Javed 123 and the password is 12345. Phone number is 12345. and the email is given as now once we submit it, once we submit user id is generated automatically from the database now you can see the user id is 1120 so so the user can basically use this id that is 1120 to log into our system and the password given is that now here is the customer user setting page okay now here he can change the password like he can type his current password that is current password is five. and then new password once you submit this submit it that it gets the password hasn't changed successfully now One one two zero can also check his details from the detail customer detail form. So we can go here in here. Uh, customer detail form. He can fill in the form and use the services. So he can type his full name. Phone number. Address can be given as something like this Chinni. Type of material can be given as from the drop down list is given like electronics you can choose from here. The product name can be electronics, it can be a personal computer. Number of products can be chosen from here, like one over here. The source of the shipment has to be given so you can give it a Chinni. And the destination is given as New Delhi and the address has to be given as now once he registers automatically from the database a customer ID is generated that is 5020 it is a customer ID uniquely to that user particularly now you can go back you can check the status of the goods from here 
zero, which is the customer ID, and the name is given as. Now this is generating a grid view, showing the grid view of the customer. It shows the detail and what are the purchases he is doing, the number of products and destination address. So let's go back. In the cancel cargo module, you can uh, type in his customer ID that is five zero two zero, and write his request as to cancel request, which is sent to the administrator who can later cancel the request. Now this is done. The basic thing is we are we are using an admin login also from uh, the same login page we can our admin can login like. The admin page is shown over here. There are two modules view customer details and cancel customer request. So, in order to view the customer, once you type, once the administrator types the view button, the whole database is listed in front of him, which he can see and later change it on. These are the modules, and that this is the project. Thank you.